My name is uh, Gregor Neuert. Uh, I'm an assistant professor in molecular physiology and biophysics as well as pharmacology and biomedical engineering. The focus of my research is to study how cells sense dynamic changes in the environment. So we want to understand how cells, for example, that are in the human body can sense changes um, that dynamically occur in the environment, but we want to actually model this in a cell culture context. And we believe there is completely new biology that can be discovered by doing this. Because current research mostly focuses on fixed environments, which are not necessarily physiologically so relevant. Mainly we use uh, microscopy methodologies to image live cells or fixed cells. Um, we also use flow cytometry to measure many millions of cells at once and also we use um, computational data analysis tools and modeling approaches to describe the data and model the data. So what attracted me is that there is a, completely, a complete area of research that we do not really cover if we just look at cells at, in constant environments. And if we would look at cells in a dynamic environment which more closely resembles what's going on in the human body, we think we can believe, uh, we can discover completely new biology and it's this new area frontier that attracted me. So basic science is important to really understand fundamental mechanisms about how biology and human diseases work. And without this basic understanding, it's very difficult to actually treat human diseases and maybe even develop cures down the road. And there's many open questions in biology that never have been addressed and that need to be addressed first from a basic science perspective before we can actually go and talk about treatments or drugs for human diseases. Funding is very important for us uh, because everyone in the lab and all the reagents equipment are supported by government funding, mainly particularly in the basic science. It's very important because there we ask fundamental questions which are not related to a specific disease but can have implications for many different diseases, for example. And therefore, it's very unlikely to get funding, for example, from industry or a specific foundation which are more focused on diseases. Yeah, so we have two success stories. One is uh, a more computational study, and this is if you generate if we generate a lot of data and we want to computationally model this, the question is how is this actually done? And we just made some fundamental discoveries of what are limitations of current modeling approaches given new data sets that are generated. And this has implications for many, many different studies in biomedical research. And a second um, story that we are working on right now is to study how cells sense environment. And we found a new mechanism of rate sensing threshold where the cells have a mechanism that enables them to sense how fast the environment changes compared to how much the environment changes. And this is a very fundamental process which we believe can be found in many different uh, biological processes in cells. What attracted me to Vanderbilt is the opportunity to apply some of our basic approaches and basic questions to more disease-oriented um, problems, which is very difficult to do in an environment, for example, that does not have a, van a medical school nearby. What for me is very attractive is this integration of basic science and translational science, medicine particularly. Um, because my training is originally in physics, there's still a lot to learn about um, medicine and disease-related questions, and that's very easy to do it here and also have colleagues to interact with and learn about these different areas of research. The advice I have for graduate students is to be excited about science, um, follow your passion, learn really the fundamentals in terms of biology but also quantitative approaches and definitely learn computer programming. Um, so my training is originally in engineering. Um, I got an undergraduate degree in physical engineering from Technical University Ilmenau in Germany. And um, then uh, I earned a PhD in physics from, uh, from Ludwig Maximilian University in Munich, also in Germany. And then I came to the United States for a postdoc at MIT in biology.